Today's training is the eighth in a series of webinars organized to increase your knowledge of safety when handling Enerpak products. In this training session, we will have a look at the following topics. General safety, hoses and couplers, lifting forces and cylinders, hand pumps and pressure gauges. It may be that you are already familiar with one or more of these subjects. If not, then welcome and we would like you to enjoy this short safety training program. Enerpak are the leading company for high pressure hydraulic tools. We are committed to achieve the goal of zero harm to employees, customers and end users of our products. We strive to meet or exceed the highest health, safety, security, environmental and quality standards for our products and solutions. Promoting personal safety is the primary goal of Enerpak safety training programs. Whether you work in maintenance or production, power plant, shipyard, mining, shop floor or construction site, we hope you will learn to use your hydraulic tools safely. Instruction manuals. Enerpak provides high quality tools and accessories, but it is up to you to be aware of the situation that you put yourself and others into when using them. Most accidents occur through misuse. You must be diligent when it comes to safety and it starts by reading the instruction manuals which are supplied with the products. Or download them from our website www.enapac.com and they can be found under the downloads tab. 80% rule. Enapac high pressure hydraulic tools are designed to be safely operated up to 100% of their rating. They are not designed with an unspecified safety factor that allows you to exceed the equipment's ratings. In fact, it is safer to use high pressure tools at 80% of their maximum instead of 100%, which includes 80% of both pressure and stroke. At 80% stroke, the plunger is more stable. At 100% stroke, the plunger becomes less stable. Set up safety considerations. Three key questions must be answered yes before starting a task. Am I familiar with this product or task? Have I read and understood the instruction sheet? Yes. Have I been trained for this product or task? Yes. Do I have the correct tools and PPE to fulfill this task in a safe way? Yes. If all are green, it is safe to start. Pressure in hydraulic systems. Enerpak industrial tools work at pressures up to 700 bar. Enerpak bolting tools have various pressure ratings. Wrenches operate at 7 or 800 bar and tensioners operate at 1500 bar. Enerpak work holding products work at pressures up to 350 bar. But commercial hydraulics found on construction vehicles or rubbish collection lorries, etc., normally operate at 210 bar. Different pressure ratings don't mix. Stay safe. If the tool does not have a clearly marked pressure rating, don't use it. Don't risk it. Hoses. Enerpak globally have two ranges of hydraulic hoses. The 900 series black rubber hose. This hose is not suitable for use in the European market. Or the 700 series yellow thermoplastic hose. The hose has a 4 to 1 pressure rating, meaning it can operate up to 700 bar with a minimum design burst rating of 2800 bar. Before use, hoses should always be inspected for defects and ensure hose grips are correctly positioned on end fittings. Enerpak recommends all hoses aged 6 years or over should be replaced according to the European norm. Date codes can be found printed on the hose or stamped into the end fitting. A blistering hose cover indicates the hose is about to burst, so change it. The steel while braiding gives the hose its strength if the protective cover is damaged, the braiding can become weaker, leading to a sudden hose burst, so change it. 
Kinks indicate permanent damage has occurred to the steel braiding, so change it. End fittings become bent through misuse. If a bent fitting fails, the load will suddenly drop, so change it. If you saw this damage on a lifting sling or chain, would you lift with it? So why would you use this damaged hose? Remember, always discard damaged hoses to eliminate the risk of someone else using the hose. The next user might not notice the damage until the hose is pressurized. A leak in a hose can cause high pressure oil to penetrate your skin. If you are ever injured by a spray of oil, see your doctor immediately. Hydraulic couplers. Couplers have many advantages, but the disadvantage is they are frequently the point at which dirt enters a hydraulic system. Clean couplers before connecting and always replace dust caps after use. Tighten couplers hand tight only. Do not use wrenches. The threaded locking collars must be fully engaged to allow the correct oil flow. Partially connected couplers will act as a check valve. Couplers are designed to be pressurized only when they are connected together. Never pressurize half couplers and never disconnect the cylinder when under pressure. The Enapac CT604 safety tool is designed to safely bleed off trapped pressure from behind the Enapac C style coupler, minimizing injuries from both flying parts and hydraulic fluid injections by eliminating unsafe coupler bleeding practices such as loosening the coupler from the cylinder. This slide briefly explains some of the forces at work while you are lifting a load with a cylinder. The main line of force is through the centre of the plunger. The weight should be distributed as close to the centre line as possible. Do not use angled wedges or unsuitable packing pieces as these will fly out under load causing an unsafe situation. Cylinders. The base of the cylinder should be on firm ground and fully supported. Where possible, use an Enapac cylinder base plate for additional stability. Do not weld or otherwise modify the cylinder to attach a base plate or other items. Remember, do not go under a load which is supported by a hydraulic cylinder. After the load has been raised, it should be solidly chocked. Let's take a quick look at pumps. Unvented reservoirs can explode if overfilled. This occurs when cylinders are not fully retracted before topping up the reservoir. The result is flying debris and spraying oil. So it is important to top up with the correct Enapac oil only when the cylinders are fully retracted and then only top up to the correct level. Hand pumps are designed to be stable during operation. For this reason, never add handle extensions. It is dangerous and unnecessary. The Anapac Ultima pump range has been designed with lower handle efforts. For best performance, operate the pump handle at moderate speed. When the handle gets hard to push at high pressure, take short strokes. The maximum leverage is obtained in the last 5 degrees of the stroke. Pressure gauges. All hydraulic systems should have a pressure gauge, including hand pump systems. The pressure gauge is the window into the hydraulic system. Remember, gauges show more than just pressure. If pressure is rising above 80% and nothing is happening, stop and review your setup. If your setup is not correct and you have no pressure gauge, you have a very dangerous situation and flying objects can kill. Always remember to apply the 80% rule. It might save a nasty surprise. Your final tip for today. Enapac want you to all work safe so you can go home safe. Working safely is your responsibility. This training session has only discussed the basics of safety when using Enapac hydraulics. 
To download your personal copy giving more details, please go to www.enapac.com forward slash resources. Or contact the Enapac Academy if you would like Enapac to visit your site to give a full safety presentation. Send your email to eainfo at enapac.com. If you have any questions regarding this video, please send an email to eainfo at enapac.com. Thank you for watching this short training video. To join our live webinar presentations, please follow this link to the Enapac website and sign up.